Hello friends, my name is Audrey Scanlon. I'm the Bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of Central Pennsylvania and I am making this video. You'll be seeing it on the 12th of January on Friday in the year 2024. Happy New Year. This is our first video of the new year and you might be able to tell from the green <laughs> leaves behind me that I'm not at home in Pennsylvania. I am, maybe you can hear it, just outside the Phoenix Airport. I'm here for a meeting of the Joint Nominating Committee of the Episcopal, the Joint Nominating Committee to elect the next presiding bishop. And we got here on Monday and I'll be coming home on uh, late tomorrow night, on Thursday night. So I feel like I've been traveling a lot. I feel like I've been in a lot of airports and on a lot of airplanes. Uh, I was recently in California for the week between Christmas and New Year's visiting our children and grandchildren. And no sooner did I get home than I turned around and came back here to Phoenix. As I was reflecting on all of this travel that I've been doing, I also came to realize that there's a lot of travel in the scripture stories that we've been hearing in this season, especially in the Christmas story. We, of course, have Mary and Joseph as they travel to Bethlehem. We have the shepherds who travel to the manger to see the newborn babe. The Magi quickly follow as Matthew describes their visit to see this newborn king. Um, Right on the heels of that, there's the flight to Egypt where Mary and Joseph take the baby Jesus and flee to Egypt away from King Herod, who is eager to find this, this new child. And then there is, of course, the presentation in the temple in which Jesus is brought to participate. He and his, his mother particularly in this ritual of cleansing and his presentation. So these travels take um, place out of duty, out of curiosity. Uh, certainly the traveling to Egypt is traveling born of fear. And then there's travel uh, for tradition and ritual. I wonder in this season where you've been traveling and um, what's drawing you there? What's putting you on the road at this time of year? And most importantly, what, what will you find? Will you find Christ? The whole idea of Epiphany, of course, is that Christ is made manifest to the Gentiles. Um, and we use in common parlance the word Epiphany as we think about um, a sudden realization or a new discovery. Um, what new discoveries are you making? And what sudden realizations, especially around um, the presence of the divine in your life, the presence of Christ, where are you finding Christ these days? Um, is it in church? Is it in the words of a neighbor or a friend or a family member? How is Christ being made manifest to you? I'd invite you in this season of Epiphany to look out for Christ, to look for Jesus. Uh, not just in church, but in your daily walk. Let me close with the Collect for Epiphany. Let us pray. O oh God, by the leading of a star, you manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth. Lead us who know you now by faith to your presence, where we may see your glory face to face. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Until we're together again, I bid you peace and may God bless you and guide you and keep you always.